What a creepy atmosphere right from the start. No hesitation. You go in. It's already just such a an eerie vibe. This is a game called Signal. What is at the bottom? Great holes secretly are digged where Earth's pore is off autism. That alarm sound is very iconic. And I've heard it in so many different titles, and I don't know what it is. Do you hear that? It's like it's calling out a set of numbers. What's happening there in the background? Oh. Oh. This is the menu. Wait, that's a cool menu. I like how the eye kind of tracks you around. Can I click on the eyeball? What is that? You see that? In the middle of the eyeball, there's like a... A circle there. Wake up. Interesting. Kind of reminds me of like um, Hades or Bastion with how you move around and aim. What is going on? I'm on a spaceship. I'm all alone. It said for me to wake up and I woke up. There was a bunch of things on the right side of the screen too. Emotions almost. Leer and stuff. Oh, here we go. Tab opens a menu. Good to know. Just pressing random button, seeing what's up. Action menu. A, D, select item. Huh. Catatonic. Overloaded. Fragmented. Hypersensitive. If it's hard for you to read, it's hard for me to read. And I don't think there's a way to make it easier. Do I go here? I'm kind of worried... ...about leaving this place. I don't know about you, but anytime there are red lights, usually means something's happened. Ah. The lock is defective. This door cannot be opened. Okay, no problem. Climb up the, uh, the ladder. Ooh. I, I don't like the limited view here. Not a big fan. I don't like that there's a, a, a run button, too. Any game that has a run button, it's uh, usually because there's something coming for you. So that lock is defective. <gasps> no, no, no. Let's stay away from hallways. I'm not afraid. I just think it's a better viewing experience if we stay in a place that fits all in one screen without having to scroll. Oh god. Oh god, something's gonna jump out at me, man. <laughs> just give me a moment, just give me a moment. Just give me a moment. Okay, if I stay in the middle, there's two doorways. If I stay in the middle... I have a chance to run for my life. What? Of Klarings? Of Klarings? Rumfarzig? Type Penrose. Oh. Well. I should have clicked through in the first place instead of trying to read that. Penrose Type Vessel Field Operations Manual. Penrose Type Vessels are the use in People's Navy, a low cost space exploration vessels deployed beyond the solar system's edge in search of planets and moons fit for habitation or rich in natural resources to support the continuous growth of a great nation. Hmm. Okay, maybe it's a bit coincident. It's a bit coincidental that I'm playing this after playing Crosscode, where we colonize the moon for the sake of a theme park, the VR game. Maybe my mind so far, I'm just gonna say this is the the prequel to Crosscode. 
All Penuel's vessels are piloted by a Gestalt scout officer. I, the only reason I know how to pronounce Gestalt is because of a series of videos by this other YouTuber called Klemps on Near. Anyways, supported by a land survey slash ship technician replica. Huh. This partner system of Gestalt replica cooperation has proved successful in countless previous scout operations. Mutual control and support allow both the Gestalt officer and the technician replica to perform at their optimal capacity. Once the vessel is catapulted towards the edge of the solar system by an orbital mass driver, the pilot may adjust the course from the flight deck, while the replica will take care of mechanical maintenance of the vessel. Oh. Am I the vessel? Maybe I'm the vessel. Sorry, not, not the vessel. That's, that's a weird thing to say. I'm on the vessel. Maybe I'm the, uh, whatchamacallit, the replica. How did I forget that fast what it was called? Anyways. Did you hear that? Oh, that's just, okay. That knocking is just when you try to open the door. I wasn't here. I don't like that. Remember how in, um... Well, there's probably a couple games like this. You go up to the window of something, you peer into the glass, and whatever is inside peers back at you. So let's avoid that for now. Anything on the sides? No. Okay, let's just... Okay, just... Just rip the band-aid off and do it. Just, you know, it's just like a needle. Just go. What? Oh. Sorry. <laughs> it's like, it's like uh, popping bubbles. It's really fun. How do I, how do I leave this? How do I, how do I leave? Oh, wait, it's right there. Oh, that's the solution, right there. No? Okay. Wait, how do I leave it? Right click, okay, oops. Okay, well, that's not the solution. Okay, that's fine. I'm gonna come back there when I need a break. It's like, you know, Bubble wrap. You just pop the bubbles for fun. Ooh. You know in the thing when there's like an open window and like you just know the monster has, has escaped? I think that's what happened here. I don't... I don't like this. I'm kind of afraid to go up to the window. Not afraid. Sorry. I just don't want to scare you, the viewer, by walking up to the window and having something pop up in our face. That'd be rude. The Gestalt officer's sleeping bunk. Oh, it's the officer's sleeping bunk. Hmm, <laughs> blood. Yes. Guys, if you're bleeding, for the most part, that's not normal. Smear diary page. Cycle 57. Huh. Some of the words are... ruined from the blood. Woke up from cryo sleep in empty mess hall. I was wondering... Alster is looking out... Flight deck. Like some... One lost in thought. Sometimes like feel like... Is... Home isn't home. Oh man. Oh god. Oh, something bad's happened, it hasn't it? Why would there be blood? Nothing bad happened. Inspect. Wait, 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 wait. One of these things is going to cause something to kill me. Right? Ah, here we go. Uh, LSTR features repair logic module, and LSTR is the replica. 
Serving our great nation as ship technicians aboard the scout vessels of the Penrose program, LSCR type replicas like yourself, me. Good to know. Are equipped with a specialized repair logic module, allowing them to quickly and easily repair both themselves and important mission equipment. <gasps> Have a heal. Okay, I like this. Accessing the R the accessing ex accessing the RLM functions. Enter the inventory screen by pressing Tab. Select the item to repair with A slash D. Press F to open the command menu. Select the combine option to enter combine mode. Oh. I wonder if it's a bit like uh, Resident Evil. You get the red herb, you get the green herb, you combine them to make the the green red herb. <laughs> While in combine mode, select the second item to repair. Press F again to combine both items. To repair damage to the replica body, select the suitable repair items and simply choose the use option from the command menu. Sometimes it can be helpful to take a good look at an object from all sides. Ah, select the inspect option in the command menu to enter inspect mode. While in inspect mode, use WASD to rotate the item to look at it from all sides. Oh. No. Uh -huh. Mess hall, personnel, crowd cryogenics. Wait. That hall with the buttons that I could have pressed was for cryogenics. Huh. Well, someone's in cryosleep. Curious who they are. Inspect. Uh, sure. Yeah, some tape. Picked up adhesive tape. Penrose 512. Scout vehicle status monitor. Status. Chris critical system failure detected. What? Location. Unknown planetary surface. Report. Crew status. A. Young, Gestalt pilot, no signal. I'm the replica. LSCR 512 replica unit active. Mess hall. I'm, I'm here. Mess hall? Wait. Wait, wait, wait. This isn't the mess hall. This is not the mess hall. Um, hard landing and surface has damaged critical systems. Surface temperature critically low. Wear protective clothing during AVA. This isn't, this isn't, uh, this isn't the mess hall. Just back myself up into a corner. Look at the door. Let's check the map again. No, this is the mess hall. I'm the replica. Whew. Okay, good to know I'm alone. I don't know if that's a good or a bad thing, but I mean, better than nothing. Better than something. Sorry. That's what I meant. That lock is defective. What about down here? Oh, God. There's no other way. <sighs> I just want you to know. I don't get a f I don't, I'm, I, I don't get scared easily. I just mentally, I'm not. What is that under the floorboards? You see that? There's something under the floorboards on on both of these. Check my corners. No. 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 No, 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 no. I didn't sign up for this. I didn't sign up for a first person view or something. Ew, I'm gonna die. Oh, suit. There's an AVA suit in the case. Oh, this is how, okay, I need this. If I ever leave the ship, I don't know if I want to leave the ship, but we're on a crash landing. But if I, if I ever want to leave, I need this. Um, key card, airlock key required. Achtung. Wait, isn't that uh, German? Achtung. Attention. Decompression chamber. I'm assuming that just means decompression chamber. I'm assuming. What is that flag? Huh. The suit has been removed from the case. Oh, right. Wasn't it a pilot? The Gestalt pilot. Where's the the pilot? You hear pilot? Lock is defective. I don't like how it's green. Uh, Jesus Christ. Oh. The cockpit. Uh, no cocks in sight though. 
Only a pit. Which means my, our pilot is uh, long gone. I see the snow. A faded photograph is stuck to the L dam controls. Pick a photograph? Picked a full photograph. Huh. That looks to be our pilot. I have blue hair. The landing and docking assist monitor. It's of no use to me now. Yeah, we, we already landed. The port controls panel. There's been a critical system failure due to the hard landing. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. The starboard controls panel. The controls aren't responding to any input. Probably an electrical failure. You know, what's interesting is that there are two seats. That there was only me coming out. And I was in cryo sleep when I came out of air, so. The ship's control panel. It's a lost cause. The ship's control panel. Judging from the readout, there's no chance it'll ever fly again. Huh. Yeah, nothing I can do here. Well, the ship has crashed in an icy landscape. Let's, uh, slowly. Can I please turn around? You know that saying, that phrase, or that sort of trope that they use of like, it's locked up and they're keeping something in to keep everyone else safe? If I ever enter a place, I don't, need, I don't care if there's a window right there, I'm going to turn my back to the window and look right behind me where something can get me. I don't care if something's looking at me through the window, I care if something's about to jump me from behind. Also, from this angle, I look insanely thick. What the... <laughs> Oh yeah, I got some items. Tape and a full photograph. Adhesive tape, a transparent polypropylene-based pressure sense of tape that can be used for joining, sealing, attaching, and mending. Uh, I'm assuming that's to heal myself. Yes. Oh. Oh, okay. I see. Well, I, I don't really see how to inspect. How do you inspect? Hmm. Oh, there we go. Okay, WASD. Sorry. Um... A photograph taken on self-developing film, despite the- <gasps> Wait, wait, wait. That's the code, okay? A photograph taken on self-developing film, despite the damage, Ariane Young can still be seen on it. Our pilot! A. Young! Ariane Young. Top left, top right, and then middle L. Okay. Miss Young, it's time for you to wake up. I swear to God. Oh, <laughs> oh God. Uh, listen, I know what happens in these kinds of games, right? You don't... Do you know why that whatever... Whoever this is is in cryosleep? They didn't make this to keep us... Uh, they didn't make this to, to keep us out. They made this to, to lock whatever it is inside in. Okay. Oh my god. Walk away. Oh. There's uh, no one here. <gasps> so where is Miss Young? Two pieces of a key snapped in half lie inside the cryogenic pod. Oh no. Miss Young, what happened to you? Airlock key? Yeah, sure. Okay. Um. Can I get a gun? I have a gun now? Okay, don't worry. Just, it's fine. Nothing bad's gonna happen to me. Nothing at all. Just need to find the airlock. Honestly, I'm kind of freaking out. You guys can't see this because of the uh, my terrible VTuber model thing, but I I'm freaking out. Oh man, okay. Wait, okay, does this give me the suit? I, I sure hope so. I need to repair the airlock keycard before I can use it. Oh. 
Oh, that's what the tape was for. I see. <clears throat> I see, I see. A magnetic key card that allows access to the pen reel's con airlock controls. It's snapped in half. The card has blood on it. Luftschuss? Luft? Luftschluss? Lu I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. I'm sorry. Wh whatever language this is, if you speak this language and I'm butchering it, and you're cringing, I'm sorry. Pen rose. Okay, let's just combine with the airlock key. We mend it with tape. I'll use this. Yep. Use airlock key, yeah. Airlock use authorized. I, I, for a second, I thought something was inside the suit and it just came out of the suit. Why am I leaving? I don't know if you heard it in the music, which by the way, the music was really good. Very nice scene. There's a lot that I, I have so many questions about what's going on, but in the music, you could hear Morse code in the background. Very slight. I wonder what that was. I, oh, this is first person mode. Well, ooh, I don't like this one. Yes, let's go towards the unidentified monolith in the middle of a planet of which we did not originate from. Yes, let's go towards the alien monolith. Nothing bad ever happens when you deal with alien monoliths. Well, that was a bit unexpected, to be honest with you. Uh, I was expecting something more dramatic. Maybe I'm just primed, you know? For fear and scary things. <clears throat> Looks like I found shelter here from the blizzard. There's no point going up again right now. Yeah, I guess so, yeah. I mean, sure. I guess here is better than out there. Except for the fact that there is a gaping butthole in the middle of this hole. What is going on? Do I? I'm not going. I have to go inside? There's no way, right? There's a strange hole leading deep into the ground. There's a faint light glowing in the deep. Crawl into the hole? I mean, I don't really have a choice. She doesn't say anything? Okay. Yeah, let's go. I don't like it. Yeah. Remember when I said I'm not good with horror games? This is kind of what I was getting at. Oh, man. I don't like this. Oh, wait. What? It's a room. This feels very human. Oh. Oh, that's not paint. Well, that's blood. Okay. Um, let's take our time in here and see what's up. Wait. Look at the wall. There's eyes and numbers. I don't know. I don't like what's behind there. Unless that's the hole I came from. Wait, wait. 
Is that the hole I came from? Why does it look so flat? I, I guess it is. Can't click on it. There's a, f there's a radiator, like a home. There's a locked box in the middle. A dusty bed. The sheets have a weird texture. Like some sort of leather. <laughs> yes, you know what else is like leather? Human skin. Flesh. I have a safe box wrapped in chains. Three locks. Well, four locks, technically, right? The three locks on the outside, the safe itself is a lock. Whatever is inside there, again, we didn't lock it up to keep us out. We locked it up to keep whatever is in there, in, in there. Oh. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Do you see it? The door is slightly ajar. Brick wall with an opening on the top. Let's avoid that. Let's look at the books. Textbooks on radio operation. They look old and worn. Radio operation. Huh. Like moist cold. Old Imperial cereals. I'm pretty sure these are banned. Imperial. There's a there's a picture on the side that I really want to see. I guess I can't. Uh, what about this? Very colorful. Color is used to attract your eyes. It's a visual design trick. It's just like the color under this doorway. Very creepy. The book has color. An ancient looking tome is lying on the, the table. Feels like it is calling to me. Pick up the king in yellow. No, not yet. Let's just let's not get ahead of ourselves. Let's let's look around first, okay? The K3 send in height. Huh. A radio transmitter it seems to be connected to the computer. But what is this connected to? Check out the computer. I can't. Check out the photos. Dark pictures of a coastline and an island. Are they photographs? Coastline and island. The flag. The national flag. Our national flag? Whatever I am, who am I? Let's not zoom into that yet. Look, numbers on the walls. I can't zoom into it. Why? Oh, I'm assuming maybe that's a safe code. Um, a light switch. I'd rather not turn it off. An old wooden wardrobe. Huh. The door won't open. Where, where could it possibly lead to? You know, that's... I'm kind of glad it doesn't open. Let's shut on the computer. See what's up. The computer screen is blank. No, it's not. You don't see that? The computer screen is blank. It's not blank. It is not blank. There's something there. It's it's like an object in the road or something. Anyways, the king in yellow. Let's see what the king in yellow has to say about this. I knew it was a bad idea to pick up the book. It's that sound, the alarm. It just rings in my ears. Preparing to send message.
That was a bit terrifying. I'm not gonna lie. What happened there? It, there was like a blue screen, and then there were a bunch of numbers being put out. The safe, it was just there. And how did I get from the icy planet to here? I mean, it seems very human. I, I wouldn't mind if I'm back in the capital or something. I, oh, I came all the way here to find her. So I'm turning back now. Find who? I came all the way to find her. There's no turning back now. Why did I look at the sink and say that? What? <laughs> Wait, hold up. Why does clicking on the sink do that? What am I, what, what am I gonna do? Leave by climbing the sink? Bathroom stalls in various states of disrepair. Okay. Okay, let's get out of here then. Was that a dream? No. How is that? Wait, what? Wait, 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 wait. It's different. Oh, wait a minute. It's, it's, it's different. A photograph taking on self-developing film. Despite the damage, Alina Seo can be, st can still be seen on it. What happened to, um, I forgot, I forgot, I forgot the name. Arena uh, Song. Miss, Miss Song. What happened to uh, Miss Song? What? Okay. My flesh melted away to reveal my cold, hard metal interior. I'm not human. That much is clear. And then, but the room in the hole? What? Welcome to S23 Serpinski. I'm assuming S means it stands for Sector. Sector 23. You've been selected or have elected to be relocated by Aeon to S23 Serpinski. Located on Leng, at the frontier of the solar system, S23 Serpinski is the perfect place for a new beginning. At a prestigious Leng vocational school facility, you will learn new skills to shape your future as a productive citizen of a wonderful nation. Here you will learn all about mineral extraction, ore refinement, and munitions production, helping in war effort against the remnants of the empire. And of course, learning is not just about theory. Aeon lets you earn your share while practicing your new craft right at the workplace. Concerned about your family, friends, former colleagues? Ask a protector about a ration sharing plan. A portion of your ration marks will be sent to the beneficiary of your choice. Oh. We're going for that angle, eh? We're going for the, uh, 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 the, uh, we have rations kind of deal. We're, we're in like a, uh, uh, a, a wartime society that's, uh, uh, running out of, uh, food and putting people to labor in order to, to survive. Lang or Orbital Interchange, S23 Sapinski Facility, Transit Station. Welcome to the Sapinski Facility. Uh, elevator, I'm assuming. I don't want to go on there yet. I want, okay, that's scared. <laughs> you, you can't, you can't see it. Let me just explain what happened. I walk, I see, I shake violently in my chair. There's a key card with a note tapped to the window. Uh, tapped, taped to the window of the reception. Due to staff shortage, you report new arrivals at classroom 4C, northeast. Pick up receptionist key? Sure, picked up receptionist key. That seems like a very... That seems like the worst possible solution? For a staff shortage? Like here, here's the key that I use that presumably gives me access to much higher level things than you would as a guest, as a new arrival. Uh, just help yourself. You can go through the facility. Just do, just figure it out, you know? <clears throat> do the staff shortage. Report new arrivals to classroom 4C Northeast. Yep, yep, yep. There's no one at the reception desk. I wonder what happened that caused a staff shortage at a facility like this. Hmm. Use receptionist key. Can I inspect it? Well, I should have, before I used it. Lock is defective and cannot be opened. Why would it be defective in a facility? Huh, you're very meta. I'm staring at you, staring at me, staring at you, staring at me, staring at us. Staring at you, staring at that. Very meta.
Am I supposed to be here? Is this illegal? Listen, I just want you to know, if this is illegal, it's not my fault. There was a key. You leave a key lying around, I'm gonna find a use for it. What? The rule of six. Remember the rule of six. Never carry more than six items on your person. Private property is a privilege. Keep your pockets open. Keep your pockets empty and your bag light. Wait, there's me in the poster. Look at that. A spitting image. Nice. I'm a, I'm a role model for this place. Let's check out the scary locked up door. Oh, okay. No, I guess, explanation of why it's locked up like that? There's a downstairs too, I can see. It's locked, requires a key. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. We all saw, we all saw that, right? There's a body. Do you know what happens when there are bodies? It means there's, there's death. Not f only for them, for us. Let's just take the elevator. The surface access lift, I don't need to go back. What? The surface? Hmm. Well, I'm assuming I came from the, from the surface. If not, then I'm in some weird dream state. But boy, oh boy. Lock is defective. Yep. Yeah, enter the room first. I, I think that's the safest way to go. Memorandum. Wall safe codes. It has come to my attention that at least one worker might be aware of the code broadcasting frequencies for the protective wall safes. Any workers connected to this leak are to be interrogated until the culprit is found. I'm restricting all radio privileges for workers in further notice. Adler. Adler? Adler. A very familiar name. That's the guy from Resident Evil 4, and that's also what happens when you when you get your tongue mixed up while trying to say at Adam Sandler. Keep records. Protocol, everything. Remember, she didn't write it down. Never happened. Get the right forms from the administration and save your files frequently. Huh. You didn't write it down, it never happened. Service request form, F29. Dates of filing, service request form, 84, 21, 4. There's only 30 days in the month. So it's the fourth month of the year, 21st day of, the, of that month. Something 84. Could be 20, could be 30, could be 40, ends in 84. We're far in the future. Full protector ID of unit filing request. EULRS309 replica. Status, staff department, unknown. Full protector ID of unit processing request. ARARRRR. What? <laughs> S2303 replica. Service object, Mond and Talkter, high security wall safe, numeric keypad, location of object classroom 4B. The wall safe in classroom 4B keeps resetting to the default combination. What's the point of the whole radio code broadcasting system if a safe can only be opened with the code in the manual? So they, I mean, yeah, that's kind of the whole point. Why would you want to broadcast your password over, that's like putting your password on like a piece of paper. Whoa, 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 whoa. Man. See, when playing horror games, right, you're typically primed for some sort of reaction. You're primed, not out of fear, but let's say a bit of a hesitancy in case of surprise, you know? And the, uh, mm, the sound of a scream, a screech, or a violin scratching like that into bright red, which is the symbol of danger, doesn't really help you feel calm, even though it's a save menu. But I'm assuming every red monitor now that I see from now on is for saves. And I'm assuming that poster was about that, but also in the lore, I'm assuming this is a society where if you don't write it down, it never happened. Haha, <laughs> you want help? No, sorry. Okay, so I, I read that. Do I continue? No, 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 no. I'd rather be with the dead body where I know what's gonna happen. Hello? A dead Yule unit. She's in a horrible state. An affected looking biocomponents are bulging out of her damaged shell. What happened to her that would cause this? What? An affected looking biocomponents? The lock is defective. The door cannot be opened. 
Are you gonna pop out at me? A dead Yule unit. Why was she abandoned here? Yule being protectors. Huh. An aperture card microfilm viewer. If I had an aperture card, I could view its contents here. Microfilms are pretty cool, I know about them. They're like miniature cards that when you zoom in has the contents of it, but otherwise it's written in a very small font in a very small form. They're very compact. They're a compact way of storing data if we didn't have computers. What the f- uh, <laughs> Man. I thought, okay, when I entered, I didn't notice the mirror. I thought that was like a, a double-sided table. And I saw, when I walked up, I saw me. That scared me. <laughs> it's just me. Uh, it's just me. Nothing to be afraid of. Nothing here. Nothing there. There's a bloody note that I can't... There's like a bloody thing. A bandage? I don't know. I can't really use it. Okay, let's, let's get out of here. Just walk past the dead bodies. I mean, this is kind of weird to leave dead bodies in the hallway and, if, you know, in a processing facility where there's classrooms and stuff. But it's not unexpected, I, su I suppose. Down? No. Right. Yes. Nice. I like rooms like this. Um, class 4B. Oh, wait. There was something at the start. It said something about uh, finding class 4A for a safe. No running in the hallways. No running in the hallways. Be mindful of, of your neighbors. Everyone can hear you run. Yeah. Nice to know that there's stealth mechanics. So if you run, I'm assuming they can hear you. That's the wall safe. There should be a manual with the code somewhere. Because we don't bother using the radio system. We just kind of... Now, I'm kind of worried. How do I... How do I... Crouch. Can I, can I crouch? I would love the camera to go f ahead of me. I would love if the camera could go ahead of me so I don't walk into something blind. I don't like how the camera only really shows me the, the bottom of things because of the angle. Oh god, you're alive. Star. Star. An Elsta unit? You should leave this place. This facility is lost. Turn back before it's too late. I'm looking for this woman. Have you seen her? I don't know her, but she might be one of the workers. All Gestalt workers were sent to the mine below the facility. She's still alive. She's probably down there. There's an access elevator to the mine shaft one level below, but you'll need an administrator's key to use it. Can I ask you what happened to you? I'll be out of here as soon as this repair patch stops my bleeding. She get out of here too. I don't know who that woman is, but she's probably dead by now. She still want to go. Good luck. Okay. You're not a protector, so I can't tell you any more than I already have. Well, forget protocol. You're bleeding. Can, you, can, can we... Can we please forget protocol so you can tell me what's going on and why two of the people were dead? Or two of the robots, right? Why you're bleeding. They decommissioned us both. They're decommissioning us anyways, whatever it is. They're decommissioning us, so just tell me what's going on. I'll be out of here as soon as, yep. Same things, yep. Okay, same things, yep. I'm gonna keep bothering you. Okay, well, you didn't tell me anything. I, gotta, I have to go to the basement, I guess. Well, I'm not a protected unit, so I can't help you. If you die, it's not my fault, okay? Oh, pick up protector key. Here we go. A magnetic key card for the obs observation room. Nothing in the back. Level 1 protector. S23 blank ob observation. Classroom key. Yeah, classroom key, okay. Okay. Where is the observation room? Uh, observation room. I'm assuming it's that one over here. I can't, I shouldn't run because they can hear me run. 
don't know who they are. But I'm not about to find out who they are. Remember, save often and record everything. If you don't record everything, it's like it never happened. It's just like real life. Your experiences are faulty. The only truth is that which you can see. Okay, avoid the dead bodies. Yeah. I think that was locked as well, so this must be the only room. Use protective key. Yep, here we go. Okay, the door closed behind me. There's the quintessential wall fan with a piece of paper. So, okay, what's interesting is I've never in my life, like in real life, seen a fan with a piece of paper in it. I I get the point is to see what the airflow is like and if it's going well. But you, like, couldn't you just tell from the blade spinning? I don't know. It seems useless. Anyways. Nothing in the bottom. Oh my god, a gun. Memorandum. Te terminology. I announce the following by order of Aeon. Due to recent events, in accordance with a new Aeon Public Interest Media Regulation, AGM-87, the term, blank, which is currently in use in various Aeon facilities, is no longer permissible and must no longer be used. Premises and apartments that are currently using the term are to be immediately renamed. So, well, how are you gonna... If this document is telling us what the term is, but it doesn't even list the term, how am I supposed to know? Unless... Unless my eyes are being controlled and it's like it's being blanked out from my vision because I'm a robot. Management personnel shall black out the term from all signage and documents until replacement terminology is announced by Aeon. With immediate effect, usage of the term in conversation and correspondence is an offense, obscenity, obscenity to the states to be punished with two cycles of double word shift. Oh my god, it's, it's, this really is the, the prequel to Crosscode. This is just Jeff Bezos. You know, making the Amazon workers work even harder in the, in the mines. It may not be easy, but we all have to do our part here. Always remember, our language shapes our world. A perfect world requires a perfect language. Adler. That's pretty true. Honestly, language does shape a lot of what you feel about things, what you think about things. Let me grab the cable. Can I grab the cable? No. Can I, can I grab the cable? No. Wait. There's blood. Pick up pistol? Yes. Picked up pistol. Pick up aperture card? Yeah. Pick up aperture card. Type 75 pistol. User manual. The Type 75 pistol is a short recoil operated locked breech semi automatic pistol chambered in 10 by 20 millimeters. This reliable, versatile handgun is a standard issue sidearm for Aeon Protector controller staff. Replica users, remember to first equip the Type 75 pistol in the inventory screen to designate the pistol as your primary weapon for the targeting module. Okay. To deploy the weapon, hold right click to disengage the safety and enter targeting mode. While in targeting mode, the left click and F will both fire the weapon. R will initiate a reload. Remember, do not waste ammunition for it is a resource of the nation. When a target is down, try to finish it off by kicking or hitting it with a baton to preserve ammunition. I don't have a baton, but also, it just really is kind of like Resident Evil 4. You, you shoot them in the legs, get them down, then you do a roundhouse kick to finish them. You know, when, when bullets fail, all you have is Kung Fu. Aperture card, a card with a piece of microfilm mounted in, oh, microfilm, here we go. A sem pistol, a semi-automatic pistol, fires 10 milliliter, yep, yep, 10 round magazine, easy, yep, okay. Let's equip this. Well, 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 oh man, that's bad. You move really slow. You can't sprint. Okay. Okay. That's fine. Uh, microfilm. I need to go back to the microfilm viewer library. Maybe. Okay. Before I do that, let's go back to the lady. Hey, you know something weird about that body? Oh, boy. Wait. Look at that. My aiming gets better as I lock onto it. Over time. Sweet Jesus.
Well, that was terrifying. I don't have much ammo. This is kind of bad. Okay, does she respawn? I mean, maybe I should have saved before I tried that. Okay, well, um, oh god. It's kind of similar to Silent Hill in appearance. Not a zombie. I would, I mean, basically, basically a zombie. You're a robot zombie. Bio-infected components, like that's, that's kind of terrifying. Don't run because they can hear you run. Don't run. They can hear you run. Oh, she, she left. Pick up a repair patch? Yeah, sure. Quagland type K. Okay. Repair patch. A sealed single-use adhesive patch containing a coagulation agent to patch up damaged areas. Restores a small amount of health over time. And coagulation being the process by which your body puts the blood into... Into hard blood. It's the process by which your body turns blood into hard blood. That's... I'm not a doctor. I'm just a person. Picked up ammo. I like the fact that I got ammo. Good, good, good. I'm scared that if I reload... What's going to happen when I reload? There's a good chance that when I reload, I lose all the bullets currently in my chamber. In, in my chamber? In my mag? In my whatever. Chamber? Mag? Whatever it's called. I lose all the bullets that I have currently loaded into the gun, and I don't want that. I need as many bullets as I can. That thing took three shots, and I had to kick it. I don't, I don't like having to run up to, to kick it. It was kind of terrifying. But since I'm here, maybe it's worth it to try reloading and see what happens. Oh, no, you, that's not what happens. I still have 10 out of seven. Okay, you only reload, you don't reload the entire thing. You only lose what you don't have. Um, my view of that body is glitchy. Well, I can see why she was abandoned here, that Yule unit. What? Oh, hello. Gestalt. Oh, hello. Oh, you killed that thing. Thank God. You don't belong here either, do you? I'm Isa. Isa Ito. Should be careful. There's something wrong with this place. I don't know what happened, but... It's probably dangerous to go any further. That's okay. I understand. I have something I need to do, too. Take care. Please. <laughs> Just stay with me. <laughs> I don't want to be alone. What do you mean you have something to do? You can do what I do, then I can do what you do. You scratch my back, I scratch yours. Let's hold hands. So we You have a knife. Can I have the, 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 the knife? I don't want to kick these things. Clearly, you're good at killing these things because you knifed it. I hope you find who you're looking for. Thanks, Isa. Thanks. Well... Appreciate the help, Isa. Appreciate the help. That thing is dead. I don't know what it is, but it's dead. Oh wait, there's a note. That's new. He, he slept it. He says note. Erica, if you, find these, if you find this note, despite everything that's happened, I've come to look for you. Isa. You use aperture card? Yeah. Mond, Mond and Tochter, high security wall safe, numeric. This wall safe complies with use in public safety equipment regulations 41 and 43. It features a high density craft style door secured with a numeric keypad. Proudly produced on high mats by Webmond and Tochter Treasure, Treasure Tech, listen. I only speak English. And a, uh, like very tiny amounts of other small disparate languages, but not this. I'm not. I, you you hear my accent? It's hard. Okay, just don't don't blip it. Instruction for use: Enter the code using the keypad. Press the confirm key in the lower right corner. If correct, a green light will pop up. Rotate the dial on the left to open the door. To clear any previously entered digits, press the E key on the lower left for empty. E for empty, like a calculator. Not a calculator. This one gives you money. Yeah, I kind of wish calculators gave you money. You just did the math and it gave you money. I mean, you, you, that's basically what... That's basically what it does. Like, if you use a calculator 
to do a job, you're basically printing money. Anyways, first time setup, enter the factory default code 204512 to open safe. While the door is open, enter the desired new code in the keypad. Press and hold the confirm key for 10 seconds until the green light lights up. 204512. Let's not change the factory default code. I like having default codes. Okay, well, she's still dead. Apparently, I can pre-aim and see what exactly those things do. Which is nice. Kind of wish Issei Ito stayed with me here. I'm not afraid. I just think it'd be better for me to help her. She seemed like she was in need of help. You know, I have a gun and she has a knife. Everyone knows guns are superior to knives. Except unless your gun shoots knives. That's probably the most superior option. But I've never seen that in my life. Maybe for good reason. Um, wall save. No Miss Ito. She's definitely gone. What was the code? What was the code? Oh, thank God. You can just see it here. My, my goodness. Okay, good. It's okay. Memory. Thank goodness. 204512. I'm so glad I, I'm a robot with memories. 204512. Because Lloyd knows I don't have any memories in my human brain. Turn the lock. Please don't open slowly. That terrified me. Pick up classroom key? Yes. Pick up classroom key. Well, let's leave that. Let's think about this for a second here. A magnetic key card for classroom 4C. Okay. I don't need to save, I don't think. I should just be okay to walk over. Just avoid the door. That scared the living bejesus out of me. The shadow on the floor. Oh, man. This, uh, this game is uh, playing with my mind here. What was inside the classroom that I needed? No. No, no, no. Remember what we said about gaping holes? Never go into a free gaping hole. It's rude. Oh, man. There's a hole in the ground. Looks like I can drop down safely. Drop down the hole. Isa, I hope you went this way. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. They're chopping them up. Jesus. Oh God. Yeah, we're, we're not in school anymore. I see why they said, uh, don't run. I have limited ammo here. I'm gonna have to be smart. None of those are awake. So maybe I can just inspect them. Maybe, okay, maybe inspecting them was a very dumb idea. Maybe I don't want to walk up close to them. That's fine. It's fine. Just go into the door. Nothing to... Wait. You're the Yule unit, right? Are you the one that I saw upstairs? Well, I can't, I can't ask you. You're, you're, you're dead. Okay, let's avoid the hallway for now. Let's see what's left. I wish there was a way to look forward even further. Um, one of them is cooking up a meal. A nice, delicious meal of human trash. Huh. It's stuck on the f, f. Floor F. That's calling the elevator. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. It's stuck on floor 2. Can I open this without getting close to it? Nah, I'm, I'm, I'm okay. I'm fine. Oh my god, that's terrifying. Don't look. Elevator control is locked. I need a protector identification. I need a protector identification card to unlock the elevator control panel. Pick up service hatch key. Yeah, sure. Okay. Okay. 
Kinda terrifying. I don't like how the door is just kind of like that. Vertical map of S23 Serpinski. Lang Orbital Surface Factory. Blank. Blank. Workers, hospital wing, personnel, protectors, op operational command. I'm in the factory, right? I have to be in the factory. Let's, um... Wait, shaft service key. Shaft service key. Is this not a shaft? Can I not service the shaft? Am I not allowed to service the shaft? I can service my shaft just fine. Why can't I service this shaft? West wing key required. Okay. Kinda wish I had a save point by now. I'd feel better if I could save. Avoid the bodies. Never ever walk close to a body on the floor. I've learned from zombies. Zombie movies, zombie games. Never walk close to a body. It unlocks from the other side. Oh god. Okay, I need a couple of keys. West wing, that opens from the other side, and an elevator key. Okay, whoever that was died. I'm gonna stay where they died. Lock is defective. It can't be opened from the side. Jeez Louise. AG4. What? Block A6. So this is not worker accommodations. Well, this is worker accommodations. I'm in the basement too. Okay, so if I go up, I can get it. I, I get it somewhere else. There's a note over here. Diary. The protectors have been worried lately. They're hiding something. There's less of them. Ration plan keeps changing. Alina says I'm imagining at them. I can feel their feel like it's my own. What are they scared of? What? Alina. Alina. Alina Sale. Oh my god, she was a... Oh yeah, right. She was a worker. Sorry. I don't know why I'm surprised at that. So, she was probably sleeping in these bunkers. Either that, or they just happen to be friends on the floor. I mean, there are... I mean, she's friends with the floor right now. That one. Okay, well. What is this? Service request form F29. Data filing service 8. Okay, 24. Same date. Star S306. Same one. Status guard. Star S306. The one that I saw that, that was injured. Guard. Work quarters. Full protector ID. Mm-hmm. Service object, Himmel Type D automatic security door. The lock on the staff door in A6 is jammed again, requesting a locksmith. Electronics reset key is nowhere to be found. I still have a lock picking kit, but management bumped the, the but management bumped the elevator engines up in priority, so next shift we'll have to pick the lock. It's just trial and error at this point. Find me if you need a key to open the service hatch or ask management. Whatever. Funft. Remember, always pull out your gun when entering an unknown area. Not in real life in games, I just want to make that clear. But if you're going somewhere scary, always pull out the gun first. Shoot first, ask questions later. Real life, don't shoot at all. Scrawled note. Kick them while they're down, kick them while they're down, kick them while they're down, kick them while they're down. Wait. Okay, weird that they would write a note for that. It kind of makes me wonder, has this been going on for a while, and is this sort of their everyday life now? Alina's diary! Feeling a little, feeling a little lightheaded today. I hope it's not that new flu that seems to be going around. I can't afford to miss any more shifts. That storage at the factory was chewing me out for what felt like hours for fainting at work the last time I got a cold. I haven't seen Elster the last few days. I hope she's okay. More and more people go missing in the mine lately, including replicas. Not even the protectors seem to be safe. Hmm. I'm Elster. And they go missing in the mines a lot. Also, look at this attention to detail. Right? Look at that laser, okay? Just like in real life, the laser would go through the holes of like a grid, right? You wouldn't expect that from this, right? Because these are just pixel art. Like, you could just make it a solid wall like this and it still would got fine. This is... It's actually each and every single hole is distinct. 
That's attention to detail. Really good stuff. Anyways, this is Alina's room. Her note is very bloody. I'm assuming she caught whatever it is that's churning these things. Or creating these things because, like, she was bleeding a lot. I mean, I'm assuming that's what happened. Oh! <gasps> Service Yeah. Here we go. What in the world is this? Mm hmm. Yes. Wait, this is the lockpick. Ah. Oh, I see. Uh, make it a certain height. Uh, was it too low, I think, right? Yeah, one more. If I get this one, then the rest is easy, I think. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. I get it. Well... Uh... I want, I want to emphasize here, I'm good at puzzles. I know what I'm doing. What do you mean that that didn't work? Oh, right. There we go. Okay. Good. No, why did I answer so, so fast? Oh my god. I will shoot. <laughs> um, listen. If you make a horror game, any medium at all, no matter what it is of media, silence is the strongest sound. Silence is the loudest sound. It is deafening how loud silence is. Huh, the box is locked. Looks like it requires some sort of square shaped key. A butterfly music box. Strange. It's locked. East wing key required. Seems like a medical bay. Oh my god, thank you. A save point. Oh, yep, overwrites. As you all know, I like to keep as many saves as I can, just in case. More repair patches. I don't like that. They wouldn't give you repair patches if you weren't gonna fight. You only keep six items on you. Hmm. Uh, sorry, Alina, you're gonna have to go inside there for a bit. I I need to consider space here. Cause key items also take up space. Yes. Oh my god, yes, more ammo. Nice, keeps the same slot too. Memorandum, wall safe codes. It has come to my attention that at least one worker might be aware of the code, broadcasting frequencies. Oh, it's the same one from downstairs, okay. Uh, I don't have any, wait. I do have a code, two. It's probably the same one. Five, one, two. No, they changed it. Unless, just to make sure. Maybe I misremembered it. Uh huh. Two of the two of the two or four. Nope, that was the right one. So somebody changed the code. Pick up disposable stun prod. Huh. EIG electro impulse devices. Due to recent events, all facility staff members are encouraged to familiarize themselves with the use of electro impulse devices. Why? Hmm. Hmm. Why do you need to familiarize yourself with a stun gun for mining? I played Minecraft. It's not that scary, okay? We've been supplied with a shipment of EIG-2 disposable stun prods for training purposes. Please refer to the enclosed handbook for more information. Electro Impulse Garat EIG-2. The EIG-2 stun prod is a single-use, short-range, disposable, non-lethal solution for incapacitating non-cooperative individuals. Non-lethal. Huh. It can be equipped to the tool slot in the inventory screen. Once equipped, it will be shown in the lower left of the inventory screen. I didn't mean to skip forward, sorry. Uh, the EIG-2 the EIG stun prod can be used with one hand while on the move, and even while aiming another weapon. Hey! Once equipped, to use the stun prod, simply press C when facing a nearby enemy. Okay, this is kind of like your emergency, oh no, they're way too close weapon. Warning, high voltage... Electric discharge may arc to individuals close to the target. Use with care. 
Do not employ, do not deploy on elderly, pregnant, or individuals with known heart disease unless absolutely necessary. Dispose of stun prod properly after use. Well, if, listen, if they're coming at me with a knife, they could be old, they could be pregnant. If they're a zombie, I'm going to shock them, okay? Just, it has to be done. So, was it press C? I press C to use it, right? Oh god. Oh god. <laughs> oh god, my bad memory is gonna kill me. Okay, please press C. Okay, good, good. C, C, C. Okay. Just remember. Remember the important ones. Whoa. Oh, she's holding a sword. That's cool. The, the Wonderwaffen? The Wunderwaffen. The Wunderwaffen? Super weapons of our nation in the battle against the Empire. Falk units. Oh. Wait, we've been used as very battle units. East wing key, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, what? Interrogation report. Subject. Worker S23A6514. Chen. Wilhelm. Offense. Contraband. Contraband found in locker. Result. Confession. Punishment. No food? Oh my god. This is like a this is like a dystopia. Worker S23A 3054. Wong, Michaela. Illegal use of radio. Result confession. Isolation. Two cycles. Wong, Wolfgang. Expired during interrogation. Oh god. Franz Huo. Obscenity to the state. Passed out during interrogation. Double work shift. Two cycles. Emily Huang. Trespassing. Expired during interrogation. Okay. Is it really interrogation if they're going to die? One would expect interrogation to not kill people. One would inspect one would I expect interrogation to be a non-lethal endeavor. Perhaps. Please don't pop out at me. I should have saved. I'm going to run at the risk of alerting them. I'm just kind of ter- oh, I'm honestly terrified. I know you guys can't see this. You, the viewers, you, you, you can't see this. But I'm... I'm terrified. It, I, I have a gun, and I feel safer with a gun. I feel safer with a gun and what is effectively an electric knife. Still, it doesn't alleviate the fear. As they say, fear is the mind killer. You're in these stalls, I swear to god. Open up. Hey, floor toilets. The stall is locked. Is someone inside? <laughs> Repair patch? Yeah, sure. Okay. 10 out of 10 ammo. Nice. Okay, well, if you're in there, just stay in there. Just just don't leave, okay? Whatever you do, don't pop out at me. Because look, okay, you can't even swing fast. Your character has a small churn delay. I seem to be fine. Yes, 10 millimeter ammo, more ammo, good. Still the same slot, good. Good, good, good. Pick up repair spray. Oh, okay. Huh. What's this? A single-use spray gun to fill damaged areas with polyurethane-based expanding foam. Restores a large amount of health over time. <sighs> when a game site's giving you more and more healing items, you know the expectation is that you'll probably die. Do you understand what I mean by that? Reload now. It's 10 out of 11. So I don't waste any ammo. What is that? Oh, it's like a writhing mass. It's alive. And whatever that is, it was just chopping at it. Like it's... 
Oh, it's like infinite meat. Is this what... Oh my god. Okay, well, I found the thing from that um, cutscene, at least. I feel a bit safer now that it's dead. But... That meat looks pretty infinite. What? Mensa key. Like the IQ people? Oh god, look at it. Can I shoot it? Should I shoot it? Do I dare shoot it? That didn't work out. That that didn't do anything but waste my ammo. Still 10 out of 10. Yep, good. Oh god, there's more of them. There are tons of them. If I read this as a pause time, I hope so. Service request form R90. Uh, da -da -da, full protect ID. U-E-U-L-R. Yep, yep. A replica. Department's kitchen staff. Worker quarters. S object. E-U-L-R. R-K-M-7. Spatial navigation module. My mapping module is still defective and won't show any map data. I keep being lost on my way to work and back. I had to sleep in the hallway last cycle because I couldn't find the staff elevator to get to my dorm. Please, I can't find my way around this place without a map. Mars. Interesting. We have very human emotions. Despite being... Well, there's effectively a robot. So if I run, will it hear me? What's the distance for it hearing me? Well, either way, it's 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 going down. Better to kill it than to leave it alive. Right? I hope so. Pick up Mensa key? Yeah. 14. A magnetic key card for the work of Mensa. Wait. Why is it... Why is it blacked out? 10-7. Okay. The lock is defective. The door can't be opened. Yep. Are you alive? I will kill you again if you're alive. I do not hesitate to shoot. Mensa. Mensa, Mensa, Mensa. There are two. Um, let's wait till they're separated, then I'll just shoot one. Oh my god. Die. Please, please, no! Please, 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 please. Why can't I send it? Okay, well, that was a disaster. Uh, yeah, four ammo. I'll, I'll, I'll listen, I'll, I'll take any ammo I can get at this point. Oh my god. Okay, well, problem. I should have waited for it to uh, focus on being able to shoot it. Um, let's use this. Wait, caution. I'm still caution. Oh no. These things don't heal very much, eh? They don't, um... Yeah, they don't heal very much. Whatever this camera is staring at, whoever's staring at me on these cameras, I really hope they'd, uh, uh, get the hint and come help me. I feel like we should be working together as a team. I wish Ito stayed with me. This boy, oh boy. I do not like being alone. Okay, wait till it gets accurate. And shoot. One. Two. Three. Four. Oh, these things are way tankier now. Like, much tankier. Why? The first couple ones only took three shots. Why is... Why are these taking like four, five, six shots? These are the toilets. Somebody had a bad day. Somebody had a really bad poop. A broken key. Yeah. Covered in feces. My kind of style. Broken key. A strange rectangular key with a butterfly wing pattern. Here we go. This is the one that I need to open the whatever box. I'm assuming it's a music box. But I mean, it's probably not, not a music box. It'd be weird to have music. That's a sentence. Why are you here all of a sudden?
Okay. Well, I have five ammo. Maybe, maybe I should have saved my ammo. But I figured better be safe than sorry. Can I run? Oh my god, I, okay, well, I'm just gonna have to run. I don't really have a choice. I have five ammo. This is not very good. I sure hope I'm safe in here. I sure hope this is a safe room. Well, it's a save room. I don't know if it's a safe room. Do they reset their positions or do they keep, keep, keep coming? Yep, they reset their positions. Okay. Good to know a number of things. One, they probably won't follow me into major safe rooms. So it seems safe. You still in the stall? You still in the stall? But, um, that still doesn't really help considering I'm, I'm really down on ammo here. They also don't respawn, which is nice to know. Who would have thunk it? What's dead stays dead, and what's... <gasps> they respawn. They respawn. Oh my god, they, they respawn. Oh god. Do not come through the door. Okay. No, no, no. That's not good. Hey! Hey, hey, hey! You look strong. Can I? You want to be my dummy mommy? By any chance? Storage, you don't look like you belong here. You're an Elsa unit, right? Wait, storage. Someone was talking about storage. That facility is currently on lockdown. Shouldn't be here. I'm the, I'm, the, I'm the protector controller on duty on this level. I don't know what kind of business you have here, but as you can probably see, we've, we've got bigger issues right now. If you're looking for the commander, I have bad news for you. She got sick. Anyone else is getting sick too. That's really all I know about it. I'm sure the administrator knows more, but who knows where he is. I'm not going out there. I'm waiting here for new orders. Until then, I'm not taking any risks. Can I have your rifle, please? Listen, you're not gonna use your rifle. Maybe I can use it. Uh, you'll need that. You'll need that. Wait, this is a a Alina's card. She doesn't look good. She's looking pretty sick all of a sudden. Wait, that's not her skin. That's her skin, but she's... I don't think that's blood. I, I think she's a robot. I think she's a, re a replica. Ah, about the administrator. From work shift controller to night shift controller. Due to recent events, some security technicians will be serving both work shifts and night shifts. I fight the guard units, da da da, star, star, star. Mm hmm. Storage Sibin. Oh, that's her. Until the effective treatment is found or reinforcements are, set are sent from HIMAT, we'll all have to stay strong and do our best to keep the facility secure. Failure is not an option. P.S. Keep an eye on the administrative unit. Since the incident, he's been acting stranger than usual. Without the commander to keep him in check, we'll have to ask Colbury for help. Well, I mean, I feel less afraid knowing that there are people. Kind of wish you'd help me shoot them. It's not like I, I, it's not like I want to shoot. It's not like I want to shoot things. It's just kind of, you know, I feel safer in knowing that we can blast them. There's West Wing key. If I run really fast, this thing shouldn't oh, it shouldn't hurt me. Uh, it's a door to the pantry, work a bathroom. Forget the bathroom. We need to go to the west. Before these things come back alive, we need to go. God damn it. It's alive. Okay, 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 good. They don't come into rooms. Thank goodness. Use the west room key. West wing, sorry. Here in the west wing. If I run, they hear me. So I can either choose to run or try to sneak through them. Mine shaft A access. I need an administrator's key to call this elevator. Okay, so I need to go into the mines. I'm assuming that's where Alina is. Which is the whole point. Ah, oh, man. Why am I here for Alina? It's not safe here, guys. It's just not safe. Sorry, I'm, I'm gonna kill you. This is temporary. Okay, nothing else is coming, thank goodness. 
I like to know it's it's it it's feels nice to know that nothing will pop up at me by walking towards me afterwards. Oh, that's the key. Good. Don't alert it. Good. A stun prod? Yes, I'll take that. Okay, my health is good. Okay, okay. Now I've got a problem. I don't really know if I want to be here. That's defective. I'm not here. Ball? That's a problem. Two out of zero. This isn't good. Not good. Let's stay away from the room with the red light. Let's go to the room with the nice blue light. What in the world is this? Oh my god, this is the interrogation room, isn't it? Jesus Christ, no wonder people were being... No wonder people expired. What? This is not... Oh my god. This is, this, this is a murder room. Wait, frequencies. Moon, sun, scales, rook. Okay, I'm gonna need that. That's a puzzle. Is, is it dead? It's not dead for long. Unlock the door. Where is this? Oh, save room. Oh my god, yes. Thank you. Uh, I can put the key back here for now. Oh, wait. I can just combine them, actually. Um, combine. Combine with that. Okay, there we, there we go. I can also get... Uh, maybe just take the photograph. I think maybe if I show Storch, she might know something. The one wielding the two-handed rifle. Oh, bloody hell. These are the interrogation people. These are the people who were being in interrogated. Okay. Why did I pick up the photo? Forget the photo. We could do the photo later. Let's use the key for now. I think it's worth it to just use the key for now. Just so I have space. Let's try it. Let's free some space for that uh, spray. I, I want that spray. A mysterious artifact is placed in, in the box. Pick up plate of eternity. Whoa. So, so far, we've had limited control of our first person view. But here I am. I can move around like it's a first person shooter. Plate of Eternity, a heavy hexagonal plate. It feels warm to the touch. Look, there's a ramp. Many, many. I believe there may be aliens afoot. Also, I didn't sign up for a first person horror game. I specifically avoid those because of my not fear. I just want to make sure you, the viewer, aren't afraid. What a swank room, though. Huh. Alina, whoever you are, wherever you are, I'm going to need you to come back to me now. Uh, what's this? One six zero zero. One six zero zero. Didn't I? Wait a minute. Frequencies. One six zero zero. It's between rook and tree. One six zero. It's between rook and tree. I'm gonna keep that in mind. I say, close the doors. Always close doors behind you. What? What not rationing? What? So is that a ration or is it not a ration? What does that mean? Uh, I'm assuming that, that just means not a ration. Oh god. I don't like the first person view. Wait. Books of the Empire. Huh. The door is locked from the other side. Serial. 
pizza. This looks like a very quaint place. Cleavers. Huh. Cleavers. To Radio Officer Young. Station 6. Wait. Yeah. It wasn't... I wasn't looking for Sarah. I was looking for Young. She's a radio officer. Station 6. We're stationed here. Also, listen to the music. Hmm. Interesting. Very classical music. Dear Iris, I hope you and Ariane are both well. Ariane. Iris. I spoke to the officials at Aeon and they agreed that it would be best for Ariane to attend school in Sector C. Uh. I have a spare room she could stay in until she graduates. I know you two are inseparable, but we both know that it is best for your daughter if she receives a normal education in the system. Love, your sister, Camilla. That sounds like the door opened. Wait, yeah, here we go. Technic, personal. Technic, and personal. What? Huh. Can I look in the shelves, trash cans? You can tell a lot about the person from the trash. REM 64 long wave radio, re radio receiver module, user manual. The REM 64 long wave receiver I'm good at speaking. I can speak. I have a mouth. The REM64 long wave radio, re radio receiver module allows a replica unit to directly receive and process low frequency amplitude modulation radio transmissions in the range of 50 to 250 kilohertz. So AM and FM. Okay. The REM64 module is installed in the module slot behind the left ear of Generation 5 replicas. To access the module's functionality, open the inventory screen and press W to open the subsystem screen. The receiver module will show up on the far left here. To switch the, ra to switch the radio receiver on and off, press F. You can adjust the frequency with Q and E. Sorry, T sip break. When I get stressed, I like to drink tea to uh, calm my nerves down. <sighs> Delicious. You can adjust the frequency with Q and E. When the receiver is on, the frequency indicator will light up red and the spectrogram bars begin to move. When tuned to a station with a subcarrier signal, the signal label will ignite. When tuned to a station tr transmitting a data stream, the data label will ignite and the transmitted data will be displayed in the transcription field at the bottom of the screen. Fascinating. Fascinating. Well, let's take it. Yep. 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 Automatically, yep, decoded messages, yep. I mean, so 160 was the frequency that I saw. There's a couple of the frequencies that I want to check out, though. Things like Moon and Rook. It's worth it. I just... I'm sorry. I'm just trying to find a corner where I won't get attacked from. Because there's a lot of openings. I'm going to be honest here, okay? If you're going to build a lab in the middle of nowhere on a cold, icy planet... Maybe it helps to remove all possible places where you could die from. No windows. You only need one window at the top to check the weather. You only need, if you want to look outside, just install cameras. Find a safe corner away from windows and away from mysterious doors. Keep everything in sight. Now, let's look at the frequencies that I have. I don't want all of them. I want some of them. Also, what's kind of weird, how do I have these things in my inventory? I'm in, in, a, I'm in a completely different place here. How do I have these? Something, something, something isn't right here. Anyways, the moon is 52. Let's see what's on the moon. Let's, let's see what's up. Is 30 hum 880. Zero end. Okay, well that's... Stop, 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 stop. I don't like it running while I'm changing frequency. It's kind of terrifying. I'm not afraid. Let's go to the moon, 52. I know how to use it now. If I enter this and I press Q, 52. 
53. Why do I have short term? I feel like I have short term memory loss. 52. 52. 5, 2. That's a 5, 1 and a 5, 2. Huh. No data. No transcriptions. There's nothing on the moon. Um, the sun, 84. Wait, colonizing the moon? That's, I mean, that's possibly achievable in a lifetime. We colonize the sun? That seems impossible. Or is it because the sun emits radio waves all the time? I don't know. Scales, 118. S like lizards? 118. Is this a direct line to our lizard overlords? Let's see. Any lizards in chat? Why did I say that? I'm not even live streaming. I, I don't even live stream. No signal, no data. Nothing. Okay, well, what's 160? Because 160 is the number on the door outside. I didn't like that. Um, I, 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 I freaked out because the music stopped. Okay. Five one three three five four one three three five four one three. That was kind of useless, if I'm being quite honest. Because what is the point of that if it gives me no usable information? I was hoping maybe I could get some information to use to open that door. Maybe I need to be at the door. I don't like this, but I don't see anything in the snow that could possibly kill me. I see nothing here that could possibly kill me. Oh! Some kind of special locking mechanism. There's some sort of speaker or microphone at the, on the front. It's not a code. It's a frequency. It spits out a code that this door then reads in order to enter in. Uh-oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Listen. Listen, I don't like what's happening. What? I still have it. Oh, God. I'm back in this nightmare. I want the repair spray plus, even if it costs me my life. Which I don't think it will. Oh, it doesn't pause. Oh, my God. You see that? While I was picking it up, this thing was moving. Okay. Storch, where are you? Anyways, let's, let's go see Storch and make sure that I don't die. Because you're up. Which means your friend is about to be up too. Because I killed your friend shortly after you. I'm getting the hell out of here. Ma'am. Storch. Ma'am. Ma'am. Storch. Ma'am. Ma'am. Storch. Can you please use your AK-47, please? Wow. This is terrifying. Uh, oh, wait. Interesting. Frequency's gone, but I still have the thing. Moon is 52. I feel safer with storage here. Uh, let's see, moon 52. Let's, let, let's try moon again. Let's go all the way back, okay? Now that I'm somewhere else, I'm assuming these frequencies actually matter now. Uh huh. Listen. Two. Two, zero, four, five, one, two. Two, zero, four, five, one, two. Oh! These are the frequencies for the, um, the stuff. Okay. Huh. What if I stand here? Can I use, can I show you the full photograph? Please look at my photograph. Well, that's kind of useless. All right. Okay, so I, I need a frequency for the something. What was it? There was like a wall locker, wall safe in the office. Wall safe in the office and then the elevator control over there. There's a yellow door for the mine shaft that I wasn't able to, to get to. And I'm assuming the elevator is where it's going to take me to. Um. Either way, I need to open the wall safe. So, let's go through every frequency 
and just... Let's do it here in the safety of our friend. Sun is 84. Listen, I trust Storch. Even if they don't want to help me, they're equipped with a rifle. They're clearly better equipped than I am, okay? Two, seven, one, six, nine, two. Six, nine, two, seven, one. That's not correct, right? I guess it doesn't really matter what the code is, but I'm assuming it needs to be six digits. So let's find the correct digits before we ever leave this room with the girl with the rifle. The woman with the rifle is a safer bet than me being out there alone. 118, toggle radio. Five, three, zero, five. Well, that still doesn't really help. 118 for scare, wait, I was at 118. 147 for Rook, 147. Nine, three, three, six, two. Listen, this, this will take a while as I try to find whatever frequency is out there. Okay, well, I'm kind of screwed, to be honest with you. No, 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 wait, wait, let's, let's think about this carefully. <sighs> I'm not stalling because I'm afraid. I'm stalling because I'm worried that you'll be afraid. I need to go through Mensa. I need to swing through the kitchen and grab some bread. Switch through the corridor, go past the room into the office. Man, my office is, uh... Well, it's not my office. It's somebody's office that I've killed somebody in. Well, I, I didn't kill them. They tried to attack me. I was defending myself. But these things don't die because they're probably made of the same thing that I am. They're probably robots, too. And thus, they're probably going to survive forever. No one's here? Thank goodness. Oh, oh, yeah, I get it. It's the shape on the thing. So it wasn't really worth it for me to do all that when I could have just gone to 188 and done it here. My fear is that this alerts them to me because why would you be able to use it outside of the menu except for like sequences like that door with that microphone? Eight. Zero, zero, five, six. Eight, zero, zero, five, six. Eight, zero, zero, five, six. Yes, good, okay. Churn, open, sesame. Sorry, just gotta check my back really quick. That's no space to carry identification card. Oh yeah, because I got the super spray. Uh, medium amount of health instantly over time. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Remember how I used that repair patch and I was like, oh, it doesn't really heal that much. <sighs> it's over time. It's over time. I didn't know it was over time. I thought it was like instant. So I was like, yeah, I'll just keep using it now. Oh, man. Okay, well, let's get my ID card. I think that ID card should either gave me access to the mine shaft or the elevator. Either or. Doesn't really matter which. Still safe. Okay, good. Let's see the ID card. An identification card for a member of the Protector medical staff authorizes access to the, to the Protector elevator. Okay, well, I can go uh, r down, right, run through the two people who are going to kill me, then go left. Just run. Hey, how's it going? How's it? Nice to see you. And I, I hope you don't follow, right? Good. Yeah, that's okay. I'm just a bit cautious. It's just caution. That's fine. That's fine. Use the elevator. Use identification card. Sure. Okay, okay, okay. Select destination. Let's go two. Three. So I'm here. Hospital wing B for protective quarters. Guys. Power interruption. Control system is rebooting. Know this. Card impounded. Please contact administrator. Oh, shit. I'm in the Krankenflugel. I'm in the Krankenflugel. Where in the hell? What is a Krankenflugel? Why is this a word for hospital? 
shotgun. You see what I see? I see a shotgun. I'd like that shotgun. Okay, that's a one-way door. Okay. Now, I've played games like this before. If they upgrade your gun, you're gonna need it. Why would they upgrade your gun? Seems suspicious. To upgrade your gun. Why would they need to upgrade your gun? Oh, hell yeah. A pump action combat shotgun with a collapsible stock fires a 18.5 millimeter flechette from a five shell internal magazine in a wide cone. It's a lot more ammo than I had in my pistol, that's for sure. And I can still use the stun gun, I'm assuming. Also, look at the save. Do you know something strange about the save? Look, hostile workers, workers, redacted. So I was in the redacted room at the very, very top. Continue without saving, you'll regret this later. Okay, that's quite terrifying, if I'm being honest. Put the pistol back. Now we have a shotgun. I have no need for a dinky little pistol. I can really blast them. Office. Inspect. Insert blank card to begin print. Blank key required. Oh, secure access card print system. Okay, well, something has to make these cards. Makes sense. Okay, just avoid the killer demon lady down there. I don't know if they're demons or the zombies. They're something. They are something. Do you see me through glass? I'm assuming no. You know if you see me, I'm gonna run, right? Don't do this. Don't do this. Oh! What? I didn't know she would leap at me. I didn't know they could leap at you. Well, let's learn and see how much damage that repair patch will heal. So I'm currently at caution. If this takes me from caution all the way up and I don't have to use all of them again like I did last time, foolishly, maybe we'll be okay. And she's dead for at least a while, so I have some room to maneuver. Not much, but something. Just some space to move with. Locked. Open. Open. Let's go this way. Let's avoid that thing. Nothing's in here. I haven't targeted anything. There's a note down here. Alina! Alina's diary. Something is wrong. Nobody will tell me what's happening, but ever since I woke up, everyone has been behaving strangely. The protectors won't let me leave my room and return to work even though the wound from my fall is already healed. I think there must have been an accident in the mine. I overheard two Yules whispering in front of my room that they're running out of staff. Where does something has happened to Elster? I haven't heard from her in a while. I can't just sit around here any longer. Alina, I swear to God. I came here to find you. If you move, then I can't find you. If you're trying to find me, clearly that's the wrong choice. You left the shotgun behind. A TV with a built-in video cassette player. If I had the video cassette, I could watch it here. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Patient Euler S2321. Patient? Okay, Euler as in like she's a replica. Patient complained about severe nausea and headaches. Admitted to hospital wing after vomiting oxidant fluid, du fluid during work. Clinical picture in line with other recent cases among protective staff. While we still have no indication what causes this syndrome, we've observed similar developments in all patients. Huh. Most puzzlingly, development of the syndrome seems to progress similarly in both replica and gestalt patients. I'm assuming the gestalt are the humans. I I'm pretty sure it said that at the start, I just forgot. Initial, admi initial admission tests showed hypotension, high fever, and dehydration, internal hemorrhaging, strong cognitive decline within the first cycle, alopecia, and purpura. Wait, that's what those things are. Within five cycles, skin will begin to peel in large patches. Decline of vision quality and ability to communicate may follow. Gestalt patients will usually expire at this stage due to infections, while results for replica patients seem to vary. Seem to vary. I can tell you right now, 
they don't vary. Whatever happens to us, the replicas, clearly we become zombies. Perhaps the greatest uh, thing that could happen to you in a zombie apocalypse is dying. You have some things I need. Okay. Well. Oh. Oh. Quickly now. Yes. Reload, 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 please. Four. Okay, good. Four. Good. Okay, got some more ammo. Good, good, good. Keep reloading. Come on. Before these things wake up, and I'm gonna have, have to kill them again. Good. Good, good, good. Okay. Slight problem. Can't take the repair patch. But that's fine. I think it's fine if I don't take the repair patch. It heals less. Okay, so they don't really notice me as long as I'm behind them and I move slow. That's good to know. Uh, they can't enter rooms, which makes me feel a lot safer. Auto-injector? What? Ah, Damn it. Okay, well, slight problem. I need to uh, offload some things in the storage. Uh, let's see. Two repair sprays. I don't think I need the plus. Um, four. So all four. I have two empty slots. I can get the auto injector, but before this thing wakes up, let's explore the top. It'll be hard to explore the top once that thing wakes up. Examination room key required. She, Alina, did wake up after a fall. So maybe there's something in the examination room relating to her. What is this? What is this room? X-ray machine. Huh. Fascinating. Wait. What's that? It looks like a snub-nosed pistol. Like a revolver of some sort. Oh. There's a hand. So there's bones inside of it. But the hand is almost... grotesque. The skin is peeled off, like the things outside. It's a head. It's a mechan- it's a full mechanical head, and there seems to be a brain inside of it. Are these things made like people? It has, like, teeth. Anatomically correct teeth. What is this? It's a card. Oh! Well, I'm gonna need that for later, assuming. Just need to figure out the right orientation. But two semi-squares, starting from the top left, and then shift it over to the right ones. Okay, I'm gonna need that for later. Two semi-squares, starting from the top left, and then shift it over to the right ones. I'm not gonna forget. There's no possible way that I forget. Shotgun rounds. Okay, just sneak on by. It can't hurt me if it doesn't see me. I like these larger rooms. Incinerator room key. I like these larger rooms because it gives me a chance to maybe sneak around the monster. And then I make a break for it anyways because I'm terrified. Well, the music is so intense. Jesus. Lock is defective. Okay. On the bright side, whatever is infecting these replicas and chilling them into these, like, creatures, they don't seem to retain any of their intelligence. As the report said, they kind of become mindless in that sense. They just kind of stay in their own little bubble and they don't really do anything else. What is this? Wait. Inspect. Sander Zugan. Earth key required. Fire key required. Gold key. Water key. Air key. Can somebody explain to me why the four elements are in everything that I do or play? Cross code. This. Why are there always four elements? Uh, ch 
Chirugi. I vaguely recognize the word from Death Stranding. Sword. Do you know what this means? I don't. A and B one two seven nine zero. What? Some letters lost. I can't interact with that. I don't even know. I, I don't even begin to know what that is. Well, it's locked. Pump room key required. It unlocks from the other side. I'm sorry for bothering you. Okay, we're, we're, we're good. Socket wrench handle. Wait. A universal wrench handle with a snap-on pin for socket adapters. I needed that for something. I can't remember what. Ah, uh, short-term memory loss. Say lovey. You can't see me. You can't see me. It's another me. Pump room. Hey, pump room key. The pumpin scandal. The, the pumpin scoopin. The protector bathroom. I will kill you. Die. Well, it's it's it, you're not really dead, but better than having to do this. While you're trying to kill me. Okay, okay, okay. Put back the socket handle. I don't need the socket wrench now. I do have a key card that I'm gonna use right after. First thing I'm gonna do is go back to the pump room, clear some space. I can use that key while that body's still down so that I can at least make some progress without the fear of it coming back and trying to kill me. Because I'm not gonna lie, you guys, again, you guys can't see my face. It's kind of terrifying. Pump room key, and this key was what? Other side. Okay, okay, so that's fine. Uh, pump room. Wait, for the water inside the bathroom. Right. Flood drainage system malfunction. To all medical wing RRs. What? R R R. That's what Dami Mommy's in like anime and like hentai say. Automatic equalizer pumps in the flood drainage system still appear to be broken, causing the lower level to be flooded. Since we're currently focusing repair efforts on the east wing staircase structure, the drainage system pressure has to be manually equalized from the control panel in the pump control room for now. Oh, causing the lower level to be flooded. So whoever's down there, I mean, you're probably dead. To drain the water, make sure that both the A and B tanks have the same amount of water in them and that the C tank is completely empty. You can see that the water levels in the tanks on the, con on the control panel. Press the buttons at the bottom of the panel to move water between the tanks using the air pressure system. It's a bit tricky to get the two tanks equalized this way because you can only move all the water- Oh my god, it's these puzzles. You only move all the water in the tank at once this way, unless the receiving tank is full. With the pumps out of order, only tank A will fill it by itself. Okay. Reservoir drainage- Reservoir- Reservoir drainage instructions. With tank A full, here's how to equalize the uh, reservoir. Fill tank B. Then fill tank C with water only from B. Move the water from tank C back to tank A. Again, fill tank C, fill tank C again with the remaining water from tank B again. What? <laughs> Wait, what? Do you ever get this thing where you read something, right? You know the words, you know what they mean, but when they're combined, you don't know what they mean. What does this mean? What? No. What? B, C, C, A, C, B, B, A. <sighs> Reading does wonders. Okay, so a couple of things I can do here. There's a morgue, and I haven't explored the entire southern corridor yet. I can't really w explore it right now with the monster in the way. I, I sh might as well just... Well, I can't even go into the morgue anyways, because the door is, like, locked. Um, I have a socket wrench, which I don't know what to do with. Maybe at the bottom, there's probably more things to do with it. You 
you wake up, this would be a bad time. This would be an extremely bad time to wake up. Good. Stay asleep. Uh, okay. So it's these two rooms that I was curious about, mostly. <gasps> Who are you? You're a human. Okay, the rooms are safe, because why would she just stand here? Everyone's trained weird. I'm the only one left, I think. Will I get sick like the others too? I'm scared. No, I don't, I don't want to die. You look kind of familiar. Have you met before? At first, it was only Commander Falk who fell ill. Oh no, the command is gone. So, uh, storage is going to stand there forever, just waiting. Com the, the command is dead. Well, the, the, the command is dead. We're kind of screwed. Slowly, everyone started behaving strangely. I'm too scared to go outside. I don't want to become like the others. I don't want to die. It's weird that these robots have a sense of wanting to die. Or not wanting to die. They value preservation of life. Memorandum, wall safe codes. Okay, same deal. Oh! On the wall safe. What? Wow, I have too many wall prods. That's actually uh, an interesting problem. Sword. I'll, I'll keep that wall pump. The sorry, the the stun prod here then, for later. She clearly needs it more than I do. I have a shotgun. Real, real like like realistically. Um, sword. 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 Two four four. Let's try the radio first. Eight, one, eight. Last three is eight one. No, eight seven, eight one, eight. Are you still there? Are you good? Okay, good. Eight seven eight one eight. Oh, I see. It is a form of encryption. So something Z, something A, something, 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 Z, something, one, something, something, Z, something, one, something. Yes, I, uh, yeah, yeah, I get it. It doesn't matter if it's flipped around or not. It's still the same. Mm. I don't like this. Pick up incinerator room key. Yes. Eidetic module. Okay, well, stay away from me. What is an eidetic module? An old photographic memory module. Allows recording of up to six visual memories. Incredibly outdated, but it might still be useful. When equipped, it can record up to six visual memory, six visual memories as grayscale images. Old images are automatically overridden when taking a picture. Oh! Wow. Yep, that's gonna come in handy. Okay. For now, keep the stun prod. I feel like I need the stun prod more. Oh my god, it's locked. They're both locked. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Hmm. Oh! I have a sneaking suspicion what this is for. Uh, the charcuterie room. Was it the charcuterie room? I don't know if it was the charcuterie room, but it was something. In the E-lock, it had a pillar in the middle with some sort of symbol on it. I'm assuming I need that because I couldn't... Ins <gasps> they stay in their positions. I didn't know that. Oh, God. Oh, God. I didn't know they stay in their positions. Please, 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 please. I didn't mean to bother you. In fact, I didn't even know that you two stayed in your positions. That's strange. This thing. Oh, I should have checked if there was anything on it in the first place. But that's kind of what I needed it for was this thing. It's really hard to see, though. 
pre-aim. I have two places I can go to. Do I go to the room with the pump or do I go to the incinerator room, which is somewhere above me? I think I go to the incinerator room, which I believe is somewhere to the right. So it's in the right wing, the eastern wing. Let's see where this thing goes. The positions do reset over a while, so maybe I just left that room too soon. That first room down in the uh, southern hall. Thermite flare. Proper disposal of corpses. My, as you've probably heard, there have been multiple accounts of bodies of decommissioned protectors spontaneously re reactivating and acting in a defective manner. You've probably heard it. Probably. Based on November's autopsy report, it seems that all affected units showed some sort of cancerous growth in their organic components. According to her, unless completely incinerated, this growth may reactivate the replica even after it's been dead for hours. Oh. I see. Body horror. That's the angle that we're going for. We, we don't know what causes this and we're unsure who's affected. Uh, we can't keep up with incinerating all the bodies. We're just two incinerators that constantly need recalibrating, so we're improvising. These thermite flares are able to melt through replica armor and burn the organic compounds from the inside. I requisitioned more of them, but there was some paperwork missing, so I'll have to wait a bit longer. Juni. Well. There's something in there. Attention. To prevent damage to device and personnel, always use the correct CO2, gas, and O2 flow settings when initiating the shutdown procedure. Oh. Lowering the temperature incorrectly will stress material, may damage the incinerator, and can cause deadly injury. This incinerator is equipped with an automatic safeguard that will abort shutdown if temperatures outside the permitted range are detected. Okay, good. I'm not gonna die, it'll just shut down and prevent me from doing it. Shutdown procedures. Set CO2, gas, and O2 levels using the three rotary dials. That's like the whole, you know the thing where like it says here, here's how to draw an, an owl. Draw three circles. It's like, draw three circles, then draw the rest of the owl. In case of incorrect settings, the automatic safeguard will abort shutdown. Adjust rotary dials according to warning lights, then initiate shutdown lever. If temperature is below the indicated line, a white light will indicate that the incinerator chamber can be opened safely. So I just play with these, I guess? Oh, cool. Okay, I mean, let's just... Gas is yellow. Hmm. CO2 is up. And gas needs to be higher. CO2 is perfect. Gas needs to be a, a lot higher. So does O2, actually. Maybe not a lot. But... Oh, I see it. You know, it's nice that this game doesn't try to jump you with fights as you're doing puzzles. It's that's that's a good game design. I feel like games that try to make puzzles stressful kind of It's a different kind of puzzle, but it's not very entertaining to play with, to be honest with you. In fact it's quite terrifying if you ask me. So I like that this game takes the puzzle and says, hey, just take your time with it and enjoy it. No space to carry fire key. Well, that was a disaster. That is indeed a disaster. Do I shoot? Okay. Let's try it out. What is that? Did you see that? It had two arms. It had two arms. It had two arms. And that's... Oh my god, that thing looked like a, just a demon. Fire key. Okay, well, nice to know that I'm in a bit of a sticky, sticky place. Special access key with a fire motif. 
Oh. A unique circuit is etched into the card. Oh. Okay, okay. Um, X-ray, no. Elevator control, no. What I want to do is save, then go downstairs. The main thing, though, is that there's a demon with two arms here. Okay, good to know it's kind of safe. Examination room key required. So, I think the new mechanic here is if I run in certain rooms, these things will pop out and try to kill me. Very, very nice to know. Oh, maybe this is where the eyeball comes in handy, actually. Wasn't there something here? There was. Hmm, I see. It doesn't matter if it's grayscale for this one because it 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 it's it's only grayscale. Um. Okay. I think both sides of a photo of it, it's fine. Okay. I need to figure out where to go. It's a left door that I can't open. That's the examination room. I have the something room key, a fire key. So I want to check that bottom left room. I need to save though because my God, I'm getting terrified. Whatever I do, I need to walk. The moment I run, those things are gonna get, I'm gonna spawn out of the floor. I don't, I don't like the idea of them spawning out of the floor. They're quite terrifying, if I'm gonna be honest with you. Um, I want to keep the thermite because if I'm gonna kill something, I'd like the choice of it dying forever. Okay, I need to kill this one. This one is the problematic one, I think. Uh, before I do, equip the stun gun. So I don't die. Down. Okay, good. Okay, okay, good. So that thing will never come back alive. It's dead. It is for sure dead. Well, I don't know that, but I hope it is. <gasps> With the fire key. I'm the avatar. I forgot. Yeah, fire key. You wanted this? Take it. Yep. Well, kind of wish I had that shotgun bullet now that I destroyed for that key. Didn't really think about the consequences of, of my actions there. Okay. Lost from the other side, so still no. Which means... It's time! <sighs> God. Oh God, this water. Listen, I have a fear of space. Like open spaces and things I can't see the bottom of. And things that sort of mask a space, right? Water, you don't know what's under the surface. From above, you can only see so far. Even if the water is completely clear, Anything could be hiding down there. You never really know. No, no, no.